Well, one more thing relating to electric vehicles and particularly Apple as well. The world famous Apple supplier Foxconn, we got a little bit more information about their own EVs that they're going to be working on. Mm. And this is the funny part. They're going to call the electric car brand Foxtron. <laughs> you know how we were always joking about all these suppliers? Pegatron. Yeah. Wistron. Foxconn. Yeah. Now Foxconn got Foxtron. Yeah. Foxconn's Foxtron competing with Pegatron's Wistron. Tron. Something Tron. Yes. Tron and Con. Yes. That's all you need for success. Yeah. You get yourself Tron or Con and you just start counting the money. Uh-huh. So we don't have either of those. <laughs> no. Anyway, they're going to be making making cars. They got a whole platform laid out. M-I-H open platform. They could be making cars for other people, cars with their own brand on it. We talked about it. It doesn't look like they're going to do the Apple car. Which is weird. You'd think that they could figure something out since they got all this business they're doing already. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're also going to do a bus. Actually, apparently their first product they're going to do is a bus. And if you scroll down, you can catch a peek at a very futuristic looking bus, actually. Look at that thing. Oh, cool. I, I, I don't think that has the best drag coefficient. No. It's a, just a giant rectangle <laughs> block. <laughs> Isn't it weird that it looks kind of cool? Just a, See the thing about a Imagine bus. Imagine seeing like a army of them, yeah, kind of like stacked together in a grid. That's efficient. It's efficient to park them. Yeah, and to, uh, it's not aerodynamic. It's efficient, efficient as far as um, interior volume, mm -hmm. like making the most of the interior volume for yes. seats and stuff. Yes. So there's other considerations when you're talking about a bus. Mm -hmm. I actually like the look of it. Yeah. I don't know why. It's not bad. It's so much glass. Look how big the windows are. Yeah, it kind of wraps around cool. on the corners. So, Foxconn launches Foxtron. Hmm. Here we have an iPad prototype, which never came to be as a real product. I remember this iPad. This is the first generation iPad, iPad 1. Hmm. And this iPad's a, an important iPad for me personally because at the time I was... Uh, a reseller and and this iPad did not launch in Canada at the same time as the US and so I had a small shop and I was actually trying to a lot of stories around how I had to go about getting these things to sell but people in Toronto wanted them so badly at the time mm. and it was difficult to get your hands on it and I remember just feeling whoa this is a huge iPhone which at the time it was, that was a novel experience yeah and like reading, they were there. Like Apple was like, you're going to read magazines and stuff. I don't know. I don't know what you're going to do. You're going to sit on the couch and stuff and lots of battery and stuff. Sure. Anyway, what's different about this one, because it was a prototype, they didn't know where they wanted to put the dock connector. And at this time, it was still that wonky 30 pin thing. And there right. wasn't that many accessories that you could use with it. But you had like a keyboard dock and obviously your charger. But they didn't know if you were going to want to dock it into portrait mode or in a landscape mode. So they put one for the prototype on both sides. And then apparently just before release, Steve Jobs nixed the idea of having both. Like he was like, no, no, no. It's going to be on the bottom. Mm. Name Steve Jobs. It's going to yeah. be on the bottom. And I don't want to hear it anymore. And then a guy like Willie Do is like, well, sir, it's uh, actually quite versatile. He's like, shut up! I ap there. <laughs> apologize for that. I just want to test our equipment out sometimes. I just want to see if I can uh, make something smoke or well, yeah, explode or something. You did. You got some... Uh, <laughs> it's like a fire right here. <laughs> All the audio equipment's <laughs> toast. <laughs> It's a mix because people listen to this and some people be like, no, 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 that's why it's fun. You never know what, gonna, what the volume is. And then other people be like, this is so chill, man. And then until <laughs> I just had to wake everybody up. I fall asleep to this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Imagine you're dozing off and then you get, and, ah! Yeah. You get that. You get Steve Jobs telling you to shut up. Yeah. Anyway, so this never made it. It is an interesting thought, though, as far as the dot connectors are concerned. 
mm-hmm. and the way in which you should use your iPad. Of course, now they moved on to magnets and flipping and flapping and twisting and turning. But back then, you needed this 30-pin connector, and, well, the rest is history, mm. you know. I don't know if this guy bought it off eBay or something, but you can cool. find some of these old Apple prototypes for collectors, like, to hold on to them and stuff like that. Yeah. You're still recovering from that shout. Yeah. Traumatized. Uh, apologize. You see, you guys think it's bad. Willie Do has this pumped into his ears. But we do have the equipment. I mean, I can't really clip it. Like, I clip, I can, but I can't. I have a fire extinguisher. This yeah. is right here. That's true. Yeah. But you know what I mean, Will? Sure. Just like, don't do that again. Like, <laughs> in, like, like in, no, but it isn't actually that much louder because the compressor kicks in and cuts well, it. Well, it sounds terrible because you have the clipping. But that's the you thing. Know? That means we got to tweak more. Okay. We got to get to a level where any amount of volume is available at all times because you never know when it might be required. Sure. Yeah. Like when Steve Jobs tells you to shut up. Yeah. I mean, I heard, I heard he was, you know, if you read any of the books and stuff, he was he fired. Was a, he was fired up. Yeah. He was very passionate. He was fired up. <laughs> He's a passionate guy. You know? So I've heard. So. 